In probability theory and statistics, the index of dispersion, dispersion index, coefficient of dispersion, relative variance, or variance to mean ratio, like the coefficient of variation, is a normalized measure of the dispersion of a probability distribution. It is a measure used to quantify whether a set of observed occurrences are clustered or dispersed compared to a standard statistical model. It is defined as the ratio of the variance to the mean. It is also known as the Fano factor, though this term is sometimes reserved for windowed data where the index of dispersion is used in the special case where the window is infinite. Windowing data is frequently done. The VMIA is frequently computed over various intervals in time or small regions in space, which may be called windows, and the resulting statistic called the Fano factor. It is only defined when the mean is non-zero, and is generally only used for positive statistics, such as count data or time between events or where the underlying distribution is assumed to be the exponential distribution or Poisson distribution. Terminology In this context, the observed dataset may consist of the times of occurrence of predefined events, such as earthquakes in a given region over a given magnitude, or of the locations in geographical space of plants of a given species. Details of such occurrences are first converted into counts of the numbers of events or occurrences in each of a set of equal size time or space regions. The above defines a dispersion index for counts. A different definition applies for a dispersion index for intervals, where the quantities treated are the lengths of the time intervals between the events. Common usage is that index of dispersion means the dispersion index for counts. Interpretation. Some distributions, most notably the Poisson distribution, have equal variance and mean, giving them a VMR equals 1. The geometric distribution and the negative binomial distribution have VMR greater than 1, while the binomial distribution has VMR less than 1, and the constant random variable has VMR equals 0. This yields the following table. This can be considered analogous to the classification of conic sections by eccentricity. See cumulants of particular probability distributions for details. When the coefficient of dispersion is less than 1, a dataset is said to be underdispersed. This condition can relate to patterns of occurrence that are more regular than the randomness associated with a Poisson process. For instance, points spread uniformly in space or regular periodic events will be underdispersed. If the index of dispersion is larger than 1, a dataset is said to be overdispersed. This can correspond to the existence of clusters of occurrences. Clumped, concentrated data is overdispersed. In terms of the interval counts, overdispersion corresponds to there being more intervals with low counts and more intervals with high counts compared to a Poisson distribution. In contrast, underdispersion is characterized by there being more intervals having counts close to the mean count, compared to a Poisson distribution. The relevance of the index of dispersion is that it has a value of 1 when the probability distribution of the number of occurrences in an interval is a Poisson distribution. Thus the measure can be used to assess whether observed data can be modeled using a Poisson process. A sample-based estimate of the dispersion index can be used to construct a formal statistical hypothesis test for the adequacy of the model that a series of counts follow a Poisson distribution. The VMR is a good measure of the degree of randomness of a given phenomenon. This technique is also commonly used in currency management. Example, for randomly diffusing particles, the distribution of the number of particles inside a given volume is Poissonian, i.e., VMR equals 1. Therefore, to assess if a given spatial pattern is due purely to diffusion or if some particle-particle interaction is involved, divide the space into patches, quadrats or sample units, count the number of individuals in each patch or two, and compute the VMR. Statistics. The first to discuss the use of a test to detect deviations from a Poisson or binomial distribution appears to have been Lexus in 1877, 
One of the tests he developed was the Lexus ratio. This index was first used in botany by Clapham in 1936. If the variates are Poisson distributed then the index of dispersion is distributed as a K2 statistic with n1 degrees of freedom when n is large, and is mu greater than 3. For many cases of interest this approximation is accurate and Fisher in 1950 derived an exact test for it. Hull studied the first four moments of its distribution. He found that the approximation to the chi-2 statistic is reasonable if mu greater than 5.